That, that's a great point. Let me bridge it over to Ram and put him on the spot sure and then enough. ask Jim to come. Well, my answer to that is very simple, uh, Eric. It's, it is the golden rule. The one who has the gold makes the rules. So when it comes to owners, you know, which is the government and private, when there is a collaboration, ultimately the owner decides what information has to be shared and not shared. Now, there may be philosophical differences personally, uh, you know, and some of which, uh, you know, I share a lot probably with Robert Steele. But the owner decides what can be shared and what cannot be shared. So when there is a collaboration, if there is a breach, uh, and if it has come from the private, you know, they are definitely at fault there. Jim, you have access to Google. Can you get them to call you back? <laughs> sure, um, we can get them to call us back. So let's say uh, we have a problem. It's a project that SOMA and Ad here are working on and an issue comes up. How does your access to Google address that security issue? What can we do that's different? Um, is, is that the question? <laughs> yeah, what happens? SOMA, Ad here, do something, an issue comes up. Yeah, it, what it, makes you different? How do we respond? Well, I, it, so we, we are the, the front line support for, for our customers and you know the, the, the lifeline. All of the Google. personnel evaluations have just shown up on the internet. What are you going to do? <laughs> that, that's <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just but it's true. very sensitive. Right? Yeah, but sensitive. Yeah. Salary data. Yeah. That's the question. Um, a laptop left in a I Starbucks. Let me let me let me let me Come on, let's really get them. <laughs> Thanks. Who pretend he's Bill Gates? <laughs> Yeah, I, um, so that's you definitely. Can get Google on the phone. Yeah, I, I don't know. In, do they in this, care in this, if there's an issue. If you call them, do they care if there's a security issue? Yes, they they now, will so definitely you, the take that seriously. If but if I call Google, do they take my call, sir? Um, yes or no, sir? Probably not. Not, not. If it's a definitely yeah, an end, end user. Will not take my <laughs> phone call. But Google will take whose phone call? It hears and their their right. partners and their customers as well. So I mean, in, in a case like like we're describing, um, you know, chances are that that's probably outside of the, the technology realm and maybe something to do with um, human error. So we, we would take all the steps on on their behalf to kind of analyze what happened there, um, look at the logs and and so on, and and see where that breach may have occurred and roll that information up to Google if there is something in their system. Right. The point is, um, they take the call and they act. But let me give you two COTR spins on this. The 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 first is. Bill Gates likes to say that the U.S. government is 3% of his total gross and it gets 3% of his information, uh, of his attention, okay, which is a rotten attitude in my judgment. Uh, never mind the blue screen of death. Um, Google, I think, from what I've seen, takes the approach that Steve Case took when CompuServe had the entire internet market, which was 10%, and Steve Case said, well, I'm not going after the 10%, I'm going after the 90%. What I think you have, and one of the reasons that I was very honored and pleased to be invited into this, what I think you have is the opportunity to leverage the Google Cloud, which has all that other stuff that you don't have access to now through your legacy systems. Now, Google does have security issues. If you don't have your stuff marked as sensitive, which a lot of people don't, I've been astonished. I mean, just Google for, for official use only, or restricted sensitive, and you'll just have a lot of fun with what comes up. Um, the fact is it's incumbent on Google to explain to the client that everything goes into Google unless you set up your indexing properly. And I think that should be, if I were a COTR, that would be one of the first issues that I would address uh, when dealing with Samad. I mean, it's not their fault if they're perfect at Hang on. sweeping I'm, your stuff. I mean, let me challenge Mark and then let him answer the question. Sure. And so. Um, from a technology point of view, um, I would say, for instance, uh, when we think about uh, security and accountability, um, when we look at how long we've used email, and there's plenty of policies and procedures and technologies that are set up in order to manage sensitive information regarding that technology. Now, when we start talking about embracing new technologies, we tend to lose a lot of that investment that we've already made. And so, for instance, with SOMAT, and one of the things that we recommend, for instance, with the Ripley software, is that we leverage that work that you've already done, your existing tools, your existing infrastructure to use in this new manner. And so in essence, we're going to use the, the security and technology, technology that you already have in place. So maintain your permissions. 
Sure. Main, maintain your wall. So, so let me just summarize what happened with any of the people being around until we were evicted. We should be good for 10 or 15 minutes after this. And so we can go upstairs if we have to after that. So. I'm sorry, sir. And then we can go upstairs after Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll get, get, defer to that. But Mark? Sure. Uh, my take on cloud computing is that um, it would definitely have to be obviously with scalability and things of that issue. Uh, I think what's more important is, well, what are you going to do with that power? And what information systems do you have in place in order that can take advantage of this platform? And so it's more of a platform. It's, it's the important business software and services that, that you're going to put on top of that platform. So I think your intuition was absolutely correct. And so we're at the point in time to now where we have this platform with this tremendous amount of computing power. Now we, we can sit back and work on these systems in order to take advantage of this huge platform. Yeah, and just, you know, shortly, I, I see the cloud as just a great normalizer for, for the data that, that we're all using and, and need to do our job. Uh, I don't think it's anything but static. It, it's definitely real time and, and it, it's, you know, a, a common platform for everybody to, to share and access information. So it's just um, all the authentication and everything is fairly seamless. Steve's a control. This is all about self-generated bits and bytes, and there is absolutely nothing. I mean, the Marines flew into Somalia and couldn't raise the embassy. 